This famous quote could be found on our training wall at Syracuse University. It was a reminder to every athlete of the habits we create on the daily. This assignment made me think about my learning habits and as an educator reflecting, would I see my habits as excellent? In a sense, and in my parents' eyes, I did, and still do have excellence in my academic career. I graduated from grade school, excelled at high school, and was the first in my family to complete a four-year college degree. But did I learn? I was going to talk about my high school experience, walking through the halls, trying to make it to class before the bell rang, which indicated learning was about to begin. But while reflecting, I realized that I cannot share more than a handful of stories about classes I remember, and most of those stories are centered around review games. Then I was going to talk about my academic habits, how I have to read every assignment or I feel like I'm falling behind, or how I need physical copies of the reading so I can highlight and mark up the text. Or when I study or review, I have to sit in a room without distractions and listen to instrumental music. But I still come to the question, am I learning or am I just trying to get good grades, which equals academic excellence, but not an indication of human growth? When I really think about learning, what comes to mind? When I think about my growth and lessons I've learned and how I learn best, I think about my own career. For an athlete, there has to be passion for the sport and the team. Whether it is being passionate about a team tradition, like lecturing the team on a subject during spring training, or being passionate about getting better each day. If there is no passion, there is no motivation to let learning begin. Then for me, and for the sport, our crew has to be able to learn together. That could look like coming up with a boat strategy, knowing each other, and being able to teach one another. Go. Every time you want to square up, you kind of put a little pressure downwards on the handle coming into the catch. You got to just keep For it me, going. I've been able to take what I'm learning and be able to apply it through practice. In practice, there needs to be times where we are being guided and, and times where we have opportunities to teach ourselves. To stay motivated as a learner, there needs to be an end that I'm striving for. In rowing, that was our races. Races provided an opportunity to execute what we practice. There was a sense of ownership and pride because the chances of losing or winning was dependent on preparation and execution. Lastly, learning needs to be transferable. I need to be able to take what I've learned and practice and be able to apply it over a multitude of situations. Rowing allowed me to do that because when I was training with the national team, I had to take what I learned from Syracuse and apply it to a group of athletes with different backgrounds. And now I'm able to take what I've learned as an athlete and teach it to the next generation of rowers. Rowing has been able to transfer to my personal life, which has made me into the student I am now and the educator I hope to be.